guys, I'm just gonna show you guys a little tour of this beautiful hotel room. Uh, this is a washroom, so stunning. The lighting's beautiful, it has like pot lights. And it's like the perfect place to do your makeup. Like the lighting is incredible. And there's a little TV, how cute, so adorable. Um, oh my God, literally Makeup Forever treated me. How cute is this, initials. I always love personalized little gifts. That's so cute, I'm so excited to be a part of this campaign. And this is their new Ultra HD Liquid Illuminator. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this. And we have a little couch here. And we have our bed, king size bed. Too big for me, but that's okay. Stunning. Montreal. You know what I spot? I spot Starbucks. <laughs> Okay, that's what I'm going next, but yeah, so that's a little tour for you guys. Stay tuned for more. Hey guys, I know I look exhausted. I've been lacking sleep this entire week. I haven't been sleeping at all because I've been so excited for this trip and I've just had, I just had so many things to do. I had to pack, to buy things. I just had to be fully prepared for this campaign because it's a huge deal for me and I freaking love makeup forever. So yeah, I'm so excited to be here and uh, yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys behind the scenes. So yeah, stay tuned. So just to kind of give you guys a little update of what's going to be happening today, I actually have dinner with the Makeup Forever team and the ambassadors. So I'm so excited to meet everyone. And yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, it's 5.30 p.m. in Montreal and I have a dinner with the Makeup Forever team in a few hours, so I'm gonna get ready. I just wanted to show you guys my little um, cosmetic kit. So I, I somehow found a way to fit this inside my luggage and I actually won this from Makeup Forever a couple years back, but it's a great little travel case for your makeup so it just opens up like this and I just brought some of my essentials and yeah I'm gonna be filming um, a little bit of a get ready with me so you guys can see my look for today so stay tuned for that um, I'm really excited um, around 7 o'clock I think I'm meeting up with the makeup forever team for dinner and it's gonna be really nice to see who I'm gonna be working with for the next few days this really tired face so do it. I'm gonna start off with just a base for my skin. I already moisturized. I'm gonna go in with the Max Strobe Cream. So I bought a mini size of this. I've already used the Ultra HD um, Skin Booster. It's a serum. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this because my needs, my skin needs all the hydration <coughs> it can get. I'm just going to conceal some areas where I need the extra coverage. <coughs> Sorry guys, my voice is My little brush set is also Makeup Forever. And I actually had this for so long, about a couple of years. How cute is that? And when you open a fresh new brow wins, you're like, oh! I'm actually gonna take you guys into my the bathroom. I think the lighting might be better. It is kind of weird here. Hey guys, so I just moved into the bathroom. The lighting seemed a little bit better. So I was like, you know what? Might as well. This dinner starts at seven. And it's already 6.15. So we've already applied a little bit of Inara's concealer. And I went in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. Lightly filled in my brow. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just really, really softly. I'm gonna go in 
with a new product that they actually left in the hotel room for me to try. I'm so excited. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft Light Liquid Highlighter in shade 30. Really, really. I'm just gonna go straight in um, and apply it before my foundation. I know that's a lot, but I, I'm actually noticing that it's pretty sheer. Ooh, beautiful. It's really sheer. It's not like the iconic drops. Even though I love the iconic drops, I feel like it's a little too opaque. Almost like it doesn't blend out to something that I can... I know it won't do me wrong. It's, it's, it's something that will, like, that's so blendable that I know I can rely on. So now that that's done, I'm going to go in with the stick foundation. I'm just going to go straight ahead. I'm just gonna use this brush and I'm just gonna press and blend. Press and blend. You wanna make sure you press it so you're actually adding coverage rather than just moving the product around. But this product is fairly really easy to blend out because it literally melts into your skin. I feel like a lot of people are scared to use stick foundations because they assume that it's it's not gonna blend. Like you just apply it and it's gonna blend. it's not gonna blend. But the specific makeup forever one, it's like butter like you barely need to push the product in it buffs right into the skin a dream i've talked about it so many times foundations photograph nicely like thank you thank you thank you foundation is on now i'm gonna go in with the nars concealer in macadamia and just highlight underneath the eyes I'm gonna just blend it out with my brush because I've been noticing that this is really good. You guys get my lid so it acts as a primer because I'm gonna be doing a really just here. Yeah. There's also another new product that Make a Forever surprised me with. Oh! It's a color correcting cream um, correcting palette. You get a color to brighten underneath the eyes. An orange color corrector for those stubborn, dark, deep hyperpigmentation. And then you get concealer and more of a peachy concealer. So you can work with two different tones based on your skin color. Woman of color, I feel like we have um, different color, different tones of skin along the, along the face. So it's essential to have a few concealers. Now I'm gonna set this before it moves and says goodbye. The banana color and the vanilla shade. These are the artist um, color powders from Makeup Forever. They're so buttery and smooth. So I'm just pressing that right underneath the eye. Buttery, smooth underneath my eyes. With that okay. So I am gonna bronze skin a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll go with the eyes, nothing too crazy. I literally just want a little bit of depth right in the So I'm using my favorite brown liner. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Liner in number 60. I'm not even gonna read it because I already know what it's called. And that just looks Using my little mini Too Faced Better Than Six Mascara. I'm so glad I got this. I have like three full size of these at home. I saw this on the print for section and I grabbed it because it's perfect to throw in your purse. Literally the perfect size. This mascara is amazing. Really picky with my mascaras. I don't I, the L'Oreal telescope the L'Oreal um mascara that everyone loves, the one that Kim uses, I do not like. Well, I'm not gonna say I don't like it, I like it, but I don't love it. Use that same brown shade and a lighter brown. 
to smoke out the lower lash line a little bit just so it's even effect and with the highlighter right in here make it proper highlighter that area right on to the highs hey guys so I went ahead and applied mascara on lower lashes and the only thing I really have left is blush and mascara so for blush I'm gonna go in with I'm going with a mute blush because I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing to my lips such a pretty mauvey brownish shade I really can't describe it because this is a color that you lit but there's still some pink in it so it's complicated that's that's how I can describe it it's complicated hey guys so I literally have 10 minutes to do my lips so I'm going to quickly put on my lip balm this is the Buxom Push Up Power Plump Lip Balm in Big O it's like a clear lip balm that turns lightly pink perfect moisturizes plumps best I'm just debating if I want to do a nude or a pop of color. Okay. I had to go with a nude. So I decided to go for a nude lip. What do you guys think? I decided to go for an effortless look. The eyes are really super soft. The skin's soft. The Everything's pretty soft. So I was like, let's keep the lips soft. I might even add a little bit of a gloss on top. We shall see, but I'm about to change and then get ready to go. I'll see you guys in a few. Sorry, I'm like breathing so loud because I'm like, I was like rushing last minute. Let's make sure I'm not really late, but I think I'm good on time. Here's the final look. Very soft, effortless. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys soon. You're like, okay, next week, next week. Right, 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 right. This. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Everybody's here and everybody made it and Woo, I know we're so panicked. We're like, we have to have to make them all come on Sunday just in case there's a flight delay. At least we have Mondays and buffer. That's why you're we have really crazies right now. Crazies. 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 So, <laughs> we love you guys. Where you, where you get to relax. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we're just strolling on the Gorgeous. streets. <laughs> Gorgeous. Live in this Montreal life. Yes. <laughs> And the rest of them. The weather, I feel like it got better. Yeah. Or is it just me? Yeah, yeah, yeah it feels better. warmer. Yeah. yeah. Where's the wine? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> good point. Definitely a good point. Hey guys, I'm back from dinner. As you guys can tell, my lipstick is all gone. But I had such an amazing time. Literally all of us bonded. I met all of the other talented individuals who are part of this campaign um, as uh, being an ambassador for Makeup Forever. I felt like I was chilling with a bunch of my friends. Like that's how well we connected. Um, it was just so amazing. Like I had so much fun. I did not expect to have that much fun. And we were all just, you know, drinking wine, having a good time, bonding, talking about what's in store for the next few days. And um, yeah, everything was just perfect. I honestly had such an amazing time. It's fun having dinner with all of these amazing ladies. They're all so beautiful too, honestly. And yeah, so tomorrow is another big day. I have some time to sleep in, which is good because as you guys know, I am exhausted. I had a headache earlier. I just need some sleep and I just need a coffee or a tea right now before I sleep. So I'm going to have some of that and then I'm going to take this makeup off and head to bed. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so before I sign off, I just wanted to tell you guys uh, some of the things that they dropped off in my room. So I came back from dinner and this cute little pillow from Makeup Forever was sitting on my bed. And I have a little note. Crush, thank you so much for being here. Enjoy something sweet night night. Makeup Forever. Some Fair Roche chocolate, literally my favorite chocolate. Honestly, so sweet. Thank you so much Makeup Forever. The surprises don't end. 
I'm so happy and I'm excited for this campaign. You guys have no idea. Until tomorrow, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, it's day two. I just had lunch and coffee. I'm getting ready to meet up with Jessie. She's the lead artist for Makeup Forever. She's absolutely amazing. She's so talented and she comes with a lot of experience. So I'm so excited to actually get some time to spend with her and um, plan on what we're gonna be doing for the actual campaign. So I'm really excited. And yeah, so I'll see you guys real soon. I'm wearing glasses, so. I don't look too tired, but I got some good sleep. Bye! I just went with a chocolate brown smoky eye and a burgundy lip. I didn't have time to film this because I was rushing, but I love how it turned out. It's really cute and sleek hair. A little bit of volume. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along to the Makeup Forever Pro Lab, so it's gonna be really exciting. So stay tuned. I just got back from the restaurant uh, we went to the hotel restaurant right after the makeup forever meet and greet event where we all all the ambassadors met the makeup forever team so it was really great and they gave us a really cute um, bomber jacket with the makeup forever logo on the back super cute and they said a bunch of nice things about each one of us when they introduced us to the team so thank you guys so much Thank you, Makeup Forever, their whole team. Honestly, you guys have been treating us amazingly. And it's just been a great experience so far. I started off the day with meeting up with Jessie. She's the lead artist for Makeup Forever, and she's absolutely amazing. Very humble for someone who is so experienced and so talented. And we just worked together on what we're gonna come up with tomorrow for the big campaign. And then I grabbed some Starbucks, hit up some stores, because I just needed some retail therapy. You know, I just, I just need to. I just, but I grabbed some things, grabbed some jewelry. Tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow's the day we're gonna be filming this campaign, taking photos of it. I'm really excited, kind of nervous, but I just hope everything cooperates, like my skin, my hair, all of that. Um, but overall, I'm really excited. I'm gonna shoot some behind the scenes shots for you guys, and you guys can follow along with me and see how the shoot comes along. But yeah. Now I think I just want some coffee and I'm just gonna quickly shower and head to bed. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until tomorrow.